15 seconds, 10 seconds, 5 seconds, comments. Honorable speaker sir, I have great pleasure in rising to present to this August house the revised budget estimates. I am glad to inform that it is my privilege and honor to present my maiden budget as finance minister of Tamil Nadu. For this, I thank our honorable chief minister for giving me this opportunity. I wish to say that in response to the address of His Excellency the Governor, the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu noted that our culture as a practice of paying homage to our ancestors. I also follow his footsteps and start by paying my respects to our ancestors. The guidance and wise counsel of the Honorable Chief Minister as a deep imprint on this budget. I am happy to say that the Honorable Chief Minister has made several promises to the people in the election manifesto. It finds a place in the vision document of the Honorable Chief Minister for a new dawn. I am proud to inform that many elements of the vision document have been converted into schemes and projects in the budget to be implemented by various government departments. I wish to inform this August House that the revised budget will only impact the remaining six months of this financial year. The sheer magnitude of the second wave of COVID over the past few months and its health and economic consequences have further constrained the flexibility of the government which was already in a precarious fiscal position. It gives me much pleasure to say that our primary ambition for this revised budget is to lay the strongest foundation for the full budget which this government will present in about six months. The honorable members of this house will appreciate that the honorable chief minister has also clearly established the model for approach of this government with transparency, engagement with society, inputs from experts and decisive action as the four key components. This approach was very evident in the government's response to the second wave of COVID-19 and the universally recognized results have proven the value of this model. I would like to say that the first step in rectifying any problem is to recognize its existence and to understand its magnitude. The white paper shows that this government understands the complexity and depth of the problems we face as well as our commitment to address the problems through firm, determined and dedicated action. Even as we improve the fiscal situation, we will prioritize the promises made in election manifesto and implement them in a phased manner. I would like to say with pride that Honorable Chief Minister on the day of assumption of office passed five orders implementing important promises made in the election manifesto. I have no doubt that the people of Tamil Nadu fully appreciate both our intention and our capacity for responsive action. One of the promises made in the election manifesto was the presentation of a separate agriculture budget. I am happy to inform the House that my colleague, the Honorable Minister for Agriculture and Farmers Welfare will present the agriculture budget tomorrow. Special attention has been paid not just to the expeditious disposal of the petitions but also to ensure that the grievances are satisfactorily redressed. With this, the assurance of this government that all the grievance petitions received by the Honorable Chief Minister will be disposed of 
within 100 days from assumption of office has been implemented. The single achievement will no doubt set the tone for the rest of this government's tenure in office. With these few words, I conclude my speech. Thank you all. Letter from Raman and Company Wholesale Fruit Seller Nehru Street Udaga Mandalam to Kandan and Sons Fruit Merchant Raja Street Coimbatore. Dear Sirs, we are in receipt of your letter of the fourth instant in which you have requested us to send 100 kilograms of plum fruit which is popularly known as Ooty Apple by Railway Parcel Service and you have also reminded us again through your email. In this connection, we wish to inform you that the delay is due to labor problem. However, we will carry out your order within a day or two. We regret for the delay and inconvenience caused due to this. On receipt of the fruits, kindly acknowledge the receipt of the same by email. We would like to inform you that now we have sufficient stock of this fruit and orders have been received from various merchants. The fruits now we have in stock is of superior quality and tasteful. We hope that people in your locality will no doubt like it. If you require some more quantity of fruits, kindly let us know about your requirements. Considering the long-standing business relationship between us, we wish to give top priority to your orders. We are happy to inform you that we are also dealing with high quality of various Nilgiris vegetables at reasonable price. If you have any idea, kindly let us have your requirements. Hoping to hear from you, yours faithfully.